it. With 11 Broadway shows and a Tony at not not. Tony nomination, there we go, actor Norm Lewis is making history at the Majestic Theater. He's starring in the longest running show on Broadway, The Phantom of the Opera. CBS 2's Dana Tyler talks to the man behind the mask, but first, let's take a listen. Norm Lewis as the Phantom in Broadway's legendary musical, The Phantom of the Opera. He is the 14th performer to star in the title role on Broadway, and he's making history because he's the first African American Phantom on Broadway. Lewis took over the role in May and just announced he'll be in it until early February, and it is a pleasure to have Norm Lewis with us here today. Congratulations. Thank you. I just have to say, this is so cool. I love being here, and I love being here with you, so thank you. <laughs> nice to interview you again. Nice to have just seen you in Phantom. I mean, that show, yeah. just the success on Broadway, big production. What a thrill to be in it. It's iconic. And then I'm just so happy to be a part of that journey that is going on for, you know, hopefully so many, many years. And uh, tell us just a little bit about it, because there are some maybe who don't know what the Phantom of the Opera is about. Well, Can you believe that? I know, right? It's it's uh, this guy who is, has, I guess, has like a birth defect or something that's went wrong with him early on in his life. And so he's lived uh, very reclusively. And he wants to be accepted by society, but he doesn't really know how to, and so he has to put a mask on uh, in order to, to kind of ingratiate himself into that world, and, you know, uh, he does it through his music, and... And there's a story. And there's a story. And there's a love story. There's a lot going on upstairs, as we see here right. at the opera. The composer, the legendary Andrew Lloyd Webber, yes. who gave you a good cheer and you worked with him when you when you started in Absolutely. May. Sir, Lord, King, Emperor, <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber. Were you yeah. nervous to work with I him? I was. I was. But after the first five minutes, he just made me feel so at home. And he is a champion uh, because he really wants you, obviously it's his music, but mm. he uh, was a champion in having me be very successful in this role. Let's listen to you sing that song. We can all just jump in with you. The music of the night. Turn your face away from the garish light of day. Turn your thoughts away from cold, unfeeling light. And listen to the music of the night. storm so beautiful thank you this role how do you make it your own well I uh, for one it's usually sung by tenors so I, I You're a baritone. To, I'm a baritone and and luckily I'm able to get my voice up there so uh, but I, I just try to uh, you know make sure that I maintain myself by getting enough rest and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff but you make it your own by uh, 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 Hal Prince has allowed me to kind of journey into uh, the story of the of this character and uh, he gave me one really good note. He said that, remember, he's a child. He's never, ever really had love. So I've kind of based it on that and gone and explored it each night. It's different. What's it like behind the mask? Um, it's... Because it's <laughs> you're all over. You're yeah. in the rafters. Is it tough to see? It's not tough to see. Actually, the, I thought the prosthetics were going to be, like, really bulky and heavy. I don't even feel them after mm. a while. And uh, and sometimes I forget I have the mask on. <laughs> you're walking so, down the street, Yeah, right? truly. <laughs> Can you imagine? In New York, it would be acceptable. But... Uh, I, I, I really, it's very comfortable, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm all good backstage. Backstage at yeah. the stage door. Yeah. Uh, and again, just to say, it's so important. You are the first African-American phantom. Yeah. Meet a lot of fans, get to talk to people. What does it mean to you? What are you hearing from them? Well, first of all, I, I take that responsibility very seriously. And uh, I'm glad that I, I'm, I'm part of that, that history. It's been interesting because I've had people from different ethnicities, from uh, Asian to Hispanic to coming up to me crying and saying, thank you so much for being in this role. I mean, I had nothing to do with me being hired, but I'm glad that I'm representing that mm. and it gives them uh, hope mm. to play roles that are not necessarily uh, you know racially specific just a universal role so um, I I'm glad to be that that role model let's just take one more look of you at you in the Phantom of the Opera um, and uh, this is a different production because you have Thursday matinees right, different Thursday. schedule right
Right, right. Monday through Saturday, but we have uh, two on Thursday and two on Saturday. And Sarah Bogus has now left us, Christine. She, we have a new one. Yeah, I miss her te terribly, but we have beautiful uh, Christines uh, that have filled her spot. All right. Thank you so much, Norm. Thank you. I really so enjoyed it. It was great to see it thank again. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. More than, what, 26 years old, fresh as ever. Yeah. Yeah. You can see Norm Lewis in The Phantom of the Opera at the Majestic Theater now through early February. Of course, The Phantom will go on and on as it has. <laughs> Back to you.